probably take it down to about 70% now. The other way. There. And you can really make it small and it, everything kind of stays where it goes. Now, if you want to put text on the end, uh, we can do that by we'll pick us a color and font and uh, and we'll make it a little bigger so we can see what we're doing. Go a little bigger, and you can uh, stretch it out by going to your era. You can drag it out this way, and you can crunch it up this way. And then what we want to do is highlight it, double click, then take the little curved era and put it up this way. Highlight it again and move it. Hold it, left click, hold it down. Let's change the font style. Go to something else here. Ah, down here. Let's see what this looks like. That don't look too bad. And you can kind of crunch it down a little bit, make it smaller, drag it out, and let's see what we got. I don't know if that's what we want to put on it, but that's how you do it. And we'll go up to our era, and then we're going to group it so it's all one piece. Draw our box, object, group. And we have our ebook cover. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select it, and we're going to save it. And you can save it, uh, it. You go to File, and then Export, and then you make sure you got Select Selection clicked. And let's see where I want to save this at. I'm going to save it on my desktop, and I'm going to put. Uh, We'll save it as a ping image. Then click Save, Export, and then if I close all this down, well, when I close this, it'll let, it'll close out, and then I'll go down to here. Let me move this over here, and here's our ebook. And if we double click on it, you'll see the ebook there and it's a ping image and then uh, you can take it to uh, resize it whatever program you use to resize things I use GIMP I can open up GIMP if it opens I'll go to File, Open, Desktop, and I'll go to my test ebook, open it up. And then I can go to uh, Image, Scale Image. Let's say I want to make it a, a 175 wide and rescale it, and it'll rescale it and everything stays pretty much the way it was and I can take it and I can put it on a this uh, I'm going to make a new box and uh, so just make it 420 by 300 now I can take this image I like to click this arrow click on the image, go to edit, 
copy, come over here and click on this, go to edit, paste, and then you'll see my little anchor, just left click, and it anchors it on that gray, gray background. And I didn't get my background tall enough, but that's how you put it on a, a colored background. Or if you just put, if you just uh, save this, this here, it'll ask you if you want to save it. Just say yes, and then when you go back to your desktop, this image is changed back. It's 175 wide by whatever it was tall. But you can take this image and put it on any color background, and it'll show up with the background, whatever color your page is because it's a ping image and it's got a transparent background. Uh, let's see if we've got any questions. And then one other one other thing, when you get get finished with your image and you save it as that ping image, you still got it here in your uh, GIMP or your Inkscape. Now when you go up here to close out, it'll ask you if you want to Close without saving, cancel, or save. And we're going to save it. And we'll save it to the desktop. And you'll notice up here it says drawing S dot SVG. So we're going to we're going to rename this with the same extension as soon as I get this thing to work. With the uh, same name that we named the other one as ping. We're going to name it testebook.svg and then click save. And then when you go to your desktop or wherever you saved it, you'll have this image here. It's an Inkscape image. So if you if you have that same ebook and you don't like what it says or you want to use it for something else, the, the actual book and change everything else, you just double click on this and it'll open it back up in Inkscape. We'll make run it back up to here, and then you click on the image, right click, and then click ungroup. Okay, why don't we do that? Well, it's not. There we go. Oh. It, it does. It does how you how you grouped it at, at uh, one time. Okay, there we go. Just keep ungrouping it. And you can start taking stuff off of it. The different sections of it. Oh, we got to ungroup this. Okay, there we go. Now you can take the. Just go back and keep ungrouping until you get back to what you want to take off of it. <laughs> 